Welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. This video is not going to be based on the latest, Man- well, indirectly, it's going to relate to the latest Manchester United news, but it's going to concentrate on just one player that has been getting out of smoke. And you could say, in some, in some respect, rightly so, based on his performance as a Manchester United player. Um, Harry Maguire, as you guys know by now, that Harry Maguire, if you're a Manchester United supporter, by the way, or if you're a rival fan um, from any rival club, I know that Maguire has been getting it in the Premier League this season. Yeah, Harry Maguire has really... Harry Maguire is in hot water right now. And this is something I want to address um, for the remainder of this video. So this is not going to be a slander on Harry Maguire's name. This is, that is not going to be the claim for this video. The claim for this video is that Harry Maguire should not be abused or he should not be slandered destructively. Now, let me say this. We all know that Harry Maguire is not only in a poor state of form, but we also know that he's not a good defender. At least, he's not a top six defender. I've said in a video that I don't ever think if Newcastle wanted to sign a centre-back, looking that they want to stay up in the Premier League, I don't think they would want the services of Harry Maguire as their centre-back. At least not starting anyway. But despite all of that, this is something I want to say, man. That should not give one the green light to slander the name of Harry Maguire, to racially, well not racially abuse, but to abuse Harry Maguire just because he's in a poor, deeper form. That shouldn't give you, that shouldn't inform you to get, to just abuse the man again. This is just this is football. Remove the player from the person. See how Maguire. I I did a few videos back in the day. When I say back in, the day, I'm talking about last year. And I think I did one in 2020. And it was relating to um, it was addressing the racial abuse bit to Rashford, Martial, and Twan CB at the time. I don't know if I can find the video, but if I do, look in one of these corners and click on it and watch it. But I was basically saying that just because they're in a, a poor state of form, doesn't, that doesn't give you the, the go-ahead to racially abuse them. Going back to England. See, England is the... Is the is, is <laughs> England is the main, is the common factor in this video podcast. Because England has, Eng, England is, is, um, I understand that England take them football serious. Excuse me. Um, some person may say that England is the home, is the motherhood of football. Some may say that it's Brazil. I'll leave that up for discussion for another person's podcast. But England, if you go back in history, England fans abused Beckham for his act against Argentina in 98 and he got him sent off. I don't remember. Well, I was two years old at the time. <laughs> Dating myself. But yeah, so because of that, England fans were, they, they, they wanted to crucify Beckham for that situation. No, I would that no it they would be stupid enough to abuse him to the point of saying Beckham is no good player and henceforth he should not be playing for England. Beckham wasn't in his finest hour then, but he was still a good player. And he was getting that abuse. But again, just because of his play acting, because some person may say that he dived or when Simeone acted out, he, he kicked his back foot or some, then got a red card, that was not called for. I understand that. But still, England fans take it a bit too much, man. Let's go back to next, last year. In the in the Euros, Rashford, Sancho, and Sako of Arsenal were all the, the, the three players, not the three Lions, <laughs> but the three players that represent, the black three players that represent the, the three Lions of England, they were racially abused last year in the final against Italy on shoot on the penalty shootouts. As if 
they would have scored a penalty as if they would have done a better performance. Now, I'll give Rashford again. Although Rashford shouldn't have been in the squad, I'm going to give Rashford the benefit of the doubt because that bridge should, have, should not have been called up anyway because he was playing with an injury for most of that season and also he wasn't playing minutes in the tournament to begin with. So there is no need for my man to be... Put. Southgate didn't need to put on Rashford in the final like that, given that he hasn't had minutes under his belt in the, in, in the tournament. It's me. I think he was trying to ra- hang out Rashford to draw or something or put him under the belt or something like that. But again, he shouldn't have been in the squad. He's not fit. His form, his form wasn't there for him to be in the tournament to begin with. So that was a questionable choice. Is me, but let's bring this back to, to Har Maguire, man. And I've said this in a few videos back in the in the day. I understand that Har Maguire is not a top tier defender. He's no Maldini by any stretch. He's no Barese. He's no uh, I don't even think even when he was good enough. He was even good as Saul Campbell. I don't even, he's not a good defender for a top tier side. Let us on let us make that clear right now. He's not a top tier defender that should be starting for Manchester United. He should not be starting for Manchester. Again, I did a video, man, of him not start not only being captain, but he should not be starting. So these two things, he should not be starting and he should not be captain. But again, because of his poor form. That should not inform one to slander bad claims on the name of Har Maguire. That's fault. That dude. Understand that we love football. Understand that certain fans want the better man for the side that they're supporting. But don't let it get to the point where mm, excuse me. Don't let it don't let it get to the point to where you're Critic destructively criticizing the player personally. <clears throat> Excuse me, another one is coming. Understand this from a player's perspective, you're judging and critical, and, and you're criticizing constructively. Now, it should be done constructively. I know some of us get into the moment where we probably say, My arm to this a big head player, man. Why is he playing here so? Get a big ass out of here, somebody. You, you can't be playing football. You can't play football. You can't defend. Some of us have that reactionary moment. I get that. I get that. I've, 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 I've been there. Maguire plays for Manchester United. I'm a Manchester United fan, so of course I've been there. I've seen the mistakes. Dude, I watched an a, a eight-minute video clip of Maguire's mistakes. I didn't even... Now, of course, I've known that Harry Maguire have made mistakes as a defender for Manchester, and for Manchester United and for England. But never to my thought, never would I re- realize that eight minutes, dude, eight minutes of mistakes made in that video. It was a funny video, I ain't gonna lie. And it's funny because the mistakes themselves were questionable. But again, just because of his poor form or of his caliber, that is a player of Harry Maguire, that should not give one the green light. Okay, let us go back for a bit. Mar- when Marwan Fellaini was at Manchester United, Marwan Fellaini was no angel in most of the eyes of Manchester United fans. Let us make that clear. Most fans didn't treat Marwan Fellaini. Some persons, and I would even say a, a good amount of Manchester United fans, take it, take it a, a step further and personally attacked Marwan Fellaini. Now, some fans that were critical, constructively, were saying, we're not criticizing the person, we're criticizing the player himself. He should not be at Manchester United, Marwan Fellaini. I get that. He, should not, he shouldn't have been at Man- Manchester United. He, should not, he shouldn't even be on the premises and the properties of Manchester United at the time. He shouldn't have been at the, the training complex. Me? But he was there, so we had to deal with it. And it was kind of hard to get a sale for him. And even though he won over the hearts of certain fans, some fans were still big-headed, bull-headed that he should leave. 
some fans were saying that he does not represent what Manchester United entail or rep or 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 really is. This route one keeper <laughs> keeper goal kick straight up to the centre forward or the goal kick route one star direct direct approach. That's not Manchester United. Manchester United is not that. We're not Manchester. We're not Stoke from two thousand nine. This is not Stoke. <laughs> Under Tony Pulis. I mean, we get that, but there is a reason why M Mourinho kept on the services of Fellini. It's because Mourinho, although it wasn't the best plan B, but be, be that said, it was a good plan. It won us a game against Arsenal at Old Trafford in Marwan Fellini's second, last, second to last season. It has won us, it has drawn us a game against Liverpool at Old Trafford in Mourinho's first tenure. But yeah, man, he's been very effective, Marwan Fellini, but still, despite all of that, despite his headed goals, despite his incredible chest control, persons were just, they, did just, they didn't want Marwan Fellini at Manchester United. And again, some persons took it further until, until saying that he should not... He, he's just a, a, a walking he's just a walking broomstick that has like a wig on it like he has no use like he has no use as a football player <clears throat> this is the big again understand that fans are critical because they want their side that they're supporting to to be better and to do better i'm not naive i'm not i'm not oblivious to that Again, bro, I'm I'm the support. I support Manchester United, and I've seen I've seen the horror stories. I've listened to the bad news. Is me. I've I've seen it. My eyes has been bleed with all of this. I've seen games where I've been like, this is not Manchester United at all. So I'm again. I'm not naive to all of this. As much as I don't want time ago at Manchester United. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, Larry, listen, I'm not going to be a hypocrite, man. There are a few times where I have called Harry Maguire bigot, slobbed, fridge, personal. I'll raise my hand, I'll raise the white flag to that in guilt and say, I have mentioned a few names on a personal level to insult Harry Maguire. I have. But I did not say it in a dictatorship degradatory or a, a destructive insult to me to the point where it's causing cyber bullying or abuse i'm saying why is this brethren this bigot <laughs> slobbed starting for manchester united that's the manner of which i say i didn't say man this guy should not be signed for england this guy should not be playing for Manchester." i didn't say it in that manner i didn't say it in that manner again the frustrate Yes, I was frustrated when I said it. Sometimes I'm saying it. Be I said it because I think it's funny. Because I think what he's done as a defender is funny. But the thing is this, man. When we're in the moment and when things are not going the fans' way, we get we get agitated by that. We, I understand. We get agitated by that. But that should not give us the green light. I'm including myself because we all have been there where we have insulted players. Man, this room is so dark. We have insulted players on a personal level where we should have been more critical from a constructive level. See, there's again, I've said this before in a video back in the day. There's two, basically four different types of criticism. You have subjective objective constructive and destructive from a subjective standpoint let us say okay you said that time Maguire should not be starting for manchester united what are you basing that on what are is that a true or false statement is it true can you prove that it is true how can you prove that it is true that's a subjective statement he should not be starting for manchester united that's a const that's a, a subjective con criticism. Now, if you say that Manchester United can do better 
again, I'm not too big on the objective because when it comes down to football, everything is subject. Most things are subjective. Like, for example, if you say that Wayne Rooney is better than most of the Manchester United strikers in, the prime, in, the, in their prime, that is a subjective statement. But if you say that Wayne Rooney is the top scorer for Manchester United, that's an objective statement because that's a factual statement. It's, that can be proven. He has 253 goals in our competition for Man United. That's a fact. But if you're stating that Rooney is better than all Eng Manchester United strikers back in your prime, back in your head, day, that is not proven. That, you, that cannot be proved. Well, you can say through stats and seasons, but there is no factual basis to it. That's a subjective statement. So going back to Har Maguire, man, when it comes down to, to destructive, destructive is basically what is happening to Har Maguire now. Destructive abuse, destructive criticism. Persons, man, I, uh, <laughs> the room is kind of dark, but I'm going to finish this video soon. Destructive criticism is basically you basically saying, man, why is this six foot four fridge starting for England? He should not be starting. He shouldn't have been called by South Guy. He should not be starting. Do him away. Take him away. Are we killing Marcel? That's get that's taking it a bit a bit too far, man. The room is getting dark every second. That's taking it a bit too far, man. Again, Har Maguire, just like all of us, are hum is a human being. Is me. Some person may say that Har Maguire is, is sensitive to criticism, which there is a truth be to that because I saw a post on Twitter by a person who was following. I ain't going to say his name. And he basically said something critical. I think it was in the lines of something constructive. He said that he raised... I, think, well, I don't want to misjudge what he was saying. I, I think it was um, a criticism. I can't say if to, whether it was constructive or destructive. But he said a criticism to Hamaguaya. And Hamaguaya blocked him. He actually showed when Hamaguaya blocked him. And he was saying, You see what critic criticism does to sensitive players? I mean, you know what? This, this is. I'm, I'm, I'm a... pause well um yeah so let's go let's 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 bring this back man Har Maguire despite his poor form Har Maguire despite his caliber of a player that he is right now Har Maguire despite the 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 the, the comical the, the 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 poor defending that he has done for Manchester United and for England which I don't really care for England because I'm not an England supporter all that support a club that is made in England, that's Manchester United. That should not give one the green light or the ammunition to racial, not to racial abuse, but to abuse Harry Maguire. That should not give one the green light to, to abuse Harry Maguire. I've said this before. Criticize him from a constructive level. This is constructive criticism. Har Maguire, for the past couple of months, if not some some, a good portion of the season, has not been that great of a defender. That's a constructive criticism. That's not a destructive criticism because I'm not attacking him personally. I'm I'm not I'm not even attacking him to begin with. I'm critiquing his performance as a player. Let me repeat that. I'm critiquing his performance as a player. That has nothing to do with. His personal character. I could do away with what he, he, he is, you know, uh, as a person. I'm I'm judging his 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 his, his, his <laughs> what he does on the football pitch. Is me. So again, constructive criticism, which one may say is subjective, but it's the perfect approach to a player that is not in the best of form. Is saying that Harry Maguire for the past couple of months, if not for a good portion of the season, has not been that great, and hence, therefore, he should have, he should be dropped. 
that's a constructive criticism given the formula of former guy right now man my man is in hot water man my man should not be starting for manchester united yeah man england fans man I'm not, this is not even a, a, an admonishment for England fans, because again, I don't care for England fans like that. But, Harmaguire, I don't even know why Harmaguire is captain, but that's beside the point. Harmaguire, again, should not be abused like the way he was, like the way he was, or did, man. He's a player, he's a human being. Um... Man, I never even thought I would be on the side of Harry Maguire, but so man, I to stand up for the person that's getting bullied, right? But Harry Maguire, yeah. So don't be abusing, abu don't be abusing Harry Maguire. I know people go still do it anyway, but I'm still doing this video because I have to say this, man. Despite the, the poor form of Harry Maguire, that should not give one the justification for abusing a player. That you don't even know you don't even know this dude personal and you're attacking him on a in, on a personal level that don't even make no sense to me again i've done it to a, a small degree but it's not to the degree of this this theatrical abuse like this defender should not be starting for england he's so poor he's so poor get him out of here i ain't seen i'm seeing Okay, Slabber didn't start in for Manchester United again. He's captain, although he shouldn't be starting as as captain or even even be captain or even start in the beginning. With. It happens. Is it means that's that's um, I'm saying it in a matter of fuck, man. I'm not saying it in a theatrical, um, insulting manner. So right now, Hamaguire, persons have stood up for Hamaguire again. South K knows why Harry Maguire is getting smoke. He knows that. He knows why Harry Maguire is getting smoke. He's not getting... <laughs> he knows Harry Maguire is not getting smoke for his good performance. Which some may say, okay, if he's not getting smoke for his good performance, why was he called up? I thought players got called up for their good performance. Harry Maguire is a co-captain or a captain for England or something like that. Again, I don't even care what they do. On that side of things because i'm not an england supporter but yeah he still call up despite his poor form yeah man again this is something that england has to has to has to deal with man i've seen again i don't support england but if england wants to succeed there is no need for them to be calling up average players are players that are in poor form I've looked, I've seen over the years some poor English, dude, some poor English squads. Livermore, <laughs> you guys remember that dude that used to get called up for England back in 2016? Um, who else? Heskey in 2010, a World Cup. <laughs> yeah, man, some of these choices, man, are questionable, man. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to excuse Southgate because he's he's the reason he's the underbelly reason why Hamagua is in the squad. Again, he's a coach, so he picks the players that are going to represent England on the international stage or in the World Cup qualifiers. So I'm not going to excuse him f from all of this. He's he's one of the reasons why Hamagua is getting smoke. He knows Hamagua is not in the best form, but he still called him up anyway. He still called him up anyway. So this is where I'm in because I want this to be finished by the 25th minute or the 30th minute. Take home point. If there's something that I got from this video is that mm, mm, that's the belt I wanted to come out long ago. Hamagoy is a human being and hence thereforth mm, excuse me and hence, therefore, he should not be given this inhumane amount of abuse. Someone basically, I, I think I saw, I don't know if someone's, or it's just me, but I, I'm imagine, I'm okay, I'm a man of color, see? I'm a, I'm a man of color, see me? 
and I'm saying to myself, if Harry Maguire was black, things would have pretty much gotten worse than it already is right now. Rashford has gotten smoke. Um, Saka has gotten smoke, but it's not as much as Rashford. Sancho has gotten smoke, but Sancho is on the lighter skin of sight. You see me? So he's he's not going to get that much of a, a criticism by the English supporters. But if I'm a guy was black man, I'm telling you, man, this dude go need muscle. <laughs> Maguire is going to need muscle to go to his yard safely. He going to need enforcer. He's going to need an ant, a couple of entourage, probably three Suge Knight or so. If he was black, given his poor, poor performance for Manchester United and England, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if again, if if he was of a man of color, particularly a color of yours truly, man. He's he yo. He can't be he cannot be walking alone. He can't be walking alone. You see me? He, no, he no. So let me wrap up and say this. Criticize her Maguire from a constructive level. I I need, I will I'll even say from an objective and a subjective level. Because all of us don't know. All of us aren't perfect, is me. We are going to give our opinions that are subjective. Is me. I don't. I mean, this is just football, man. This is just football, and without bringing stats into it, when it comes down to stats, you could say that stats to a degree is objective because it's facts based on what players have done, whether it's goals, assists, blocks, clean sheets, you name them. But removing all of that from a performance perspective that's going to be subjective from the fans perspective and most fans they still go they're still going to give Harmagoy a smoke man but I still have to do this video because someone has to sign up for the person that's getting bullied man someone has to sign up for the person that's getting bullied man and for a person like Maguire, man, I know it's easy to to draw, um, to abuse Harry Maguire because he's not in the best to perform. But still, man, you guys should not be the Maguire like that. Constructively criticize Harry Maguire. Do not take it to the point where you allow yourself to criticize him personally in a insulting theatrical way again i've i wouldn't say insult but i've i've, fun, I've jokingly said slab it i've said that he's a 80 mil or 80 pound fridge i've said that before but i didn't say that in the in the manner of saying man this 80 mil fridge look how, look look how him just slow him slow now he is slow we all know again going back to subject and object we all know the, the man is slow. He's no, he's no, uh, I don't even think he, if he, I don't even think he's fast like a snail running 100 meter. He's slow. Look at the goal that, um, Ray, uh, I think it's Jay Rodriguez scored when he beat Maguire just like that in front of Maguire and go score the goal at Turf Moor. He's slow, man. Maguire's slow. He's slow. He's just slow. So that's my video for today, man. Take him, take one point. Maguire should not be slandered from a personal level. And I would even say from a player's level. Don't slander him to the point where you're attacking him. Criticize, criticize Maguire. I know it's not easy because most persons... Hate Maguire is like they have to make a spin off show from everybody hates Chris to everybody hates Harry Maguire. But criticize Harry Maguire from a constructive level. Again, when you're constructively criticizing, you're basically emphasizing the fact that a player is not in the best of form, or you're saying that he has the ability to perform if he improves on himself. But Persons knowing football, who know football fans, I know in Twitter, man. Persons don't want Hammer to to get in no good for man. 
Harry Maguire is, is living entertainment. He's a living meme. He's a living walking meme. <laughs> to most persons, they ain't good to that. But anyway, 30th minute. If you're a Manchester United supporter, go ahead and click that subscribe subscription button. Like and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. Hey, I want to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys have criticized Harry Maguire, and why you're criticizing him on a, on a personal level, go ahead and leave your comments below. I want to see what I'll, I'll respond to some and again if you take it to the point where you're attacking me i'll delete your comments in a microsecond with that being said i'll show you guys in the next video podcast i'm out